What's up, D learners? It's your girl, Lady D. What's up, D learners? It's your girl, Lady D of D Talford Training Solutions. I am here today to give you some health education and a one week update on the plant based or vegan keto low carb lifestyle. So it's also known as Vito in some communities and Keegan and other communities. So what went well um, during my one week? Well, I started out at 175.8 pounds and I ended the week at 164.6 pounds. So that was about 11.2 pound weight loss, which is absolutely excellent for anything done in one week um even when i did carnivore i lost nine pounds so i lost 2.2 um, more pounds than i did when i did carnivore now some of the things that i incorporated was i found a plant-based pea quinoa protein that i used and it was from walmart it tasted absolutely horrible but i was able to figure out how to mix it in um, some chia and unsweetened almond milk and i used um, some fruit and once in a while i would use a little bit of stevia to sweeten up the taste um, and help it out a little bit so i definitely used uh chia flaxseed um, during my raw plant-based vegan time um i dipped in and out of ketosis i really didn't consistently stay in ketosis so I would say that um, the amount of vegetables and fruit I had, um, I did not calculate uh, how much carbs I was having. I do know um, there's no way I was uh, over uh, 50 net carbs, but there were days that I was around 20, 30 net carbs, just eyeballing it. Um, the good thing about um, when you're eating plant-based or vegan you can pretty much eat as much vegetables as you want as long as they're not root vegetables so more of those green leafy vegetables you can eat as much of those as you want and just kind of being cautious with those vegetables like beets and carrots um i definitely only ate a small amount of potato once um i did eat beans now that was the only cooked food that i had i like um chicken broth when i am doing carnivore and keto and i needed something warm to drink so i made really really soupy beans um i was tired of tea because <laughs> i was drinking tea every morning so instead of chicken broth i drank some bean broth and that satisfied me and actually kept me pretty full I noticed that um, I definitely feel 100% better. I feel like my skin is really clear. My skin also will be clear on carnivore. So um, I did have the benefits of clearer skin. I definitely had a reduction in inflammation. So I am less inflamed. So it's hard to tell if that is because I was doing carnivore, I mean, because I was doing vegan, plant-based, or because I was doing um, low-carb keto. But either way, I feel so good, I feel clean. Now, when I do carnivore, I am typically um, constipated and I do have to take a fiber supplement. Doing a vegan and plant-based, I 100% was going to the bathroom sometimes two or three times a day. Um, at one point, I did feel like I was starting to get some diarrhea, and I'm not sure if that's because of the amount of chia and flaxseed I was eating, so I did um, rein that back in. The only thing that I did try to make, and I did do this last night because I was getting so bored um, with just raw vegetables and a little bit of raw fruit, was I had some... 
I took some protein powder, um, a chia egg, and some almond flour, and I made some bootleg uh, pancakes. So the pancakes did not come out great. They came out more looking like a muffin, but it did satisfy um, my taste buds. It, um, it was a good change, a good alternative. So other than the um, almond flour with chia um, and blueberries, uh, muffin slash pancake, which still is raw and still was 100% vegan. The only other thing that I ate cooked was the um, beans. And I did use coconut oil um, for the muffin pancake mixture um, thing that I made. And then for the beans, I always season my beans with meat. So this was my first time cooking beans with no meat and no meat broth. So I'm pretty excited that I was able to do that. So overall, I feel like I had a great experience with raw or plant-based vegan. I am not a big vegetable fan. That's why I love carnivore because I could eat meat, um, eggs, cheese, yogurt. Um, so just eating raw fruits and vegetables and nuts and then the protein powder and the, the seeds was difficult for me. I did find some taste combinations that I like. Um, I really enjoyed having beets and artichokes on top of my salad. Um, it made my salad have a little bit more life. The olive oil and apple cider vinegar or olive oil and lemon juice um, were good dressings for me. I really did not use any of the other dressings that I showed you in my last video. So that was a great thing as well. So the only thing I have not done, I have not taken like things like my blood pressure, blood sugar, etc. But I am going by the way I feel. So I feel no inflammation. I've been sleeping wonderfully about six to seven hours a night all through the night not waking up i have had a ton of energy um even just from the time i wake up i have been doing my twelve thousand steps a day and i was um lifting light weights at the gym so just know that any program you do jenny Cat craig weight watchers let's get thin urban skin solutions medi weight loss you have got to decide to stick to it you got to start with foods that you like and that's what i did i knew i liked beets i knew i liked artichoke and i found ways to dress up my uh, salads and my green leafy raw vegetables so that I could enjoy them. I knew I liked olives, so I knew I could put those with some raw tomatoes. So just making food combinations, starting with some of the foods that you like. Vegan is restrictive. Keto is restrictive. Carnivore is restrictive. So just know when you're doing any of these, you might want to um, kind of get your mind ready for the level of restriction. For some people that doesn't work when you tell them you can't have something, they're just like, oh my gosh, I want it even more. For me, it was great because it helps eliminate some things that be, couldn't be causing inflammation and other problems like reflux and just problems um, like uh, upsetting my stomach ulcer, things like that. Everything was calm. Everything was less inflamed. Remember, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. If you are interested in plant-based or vegan, this um, diet or meal plan is very similar to what um, Beyonce did for her um, Coachella performance. Now, I know she did hers for a year and I made some different variations to it because I had to make it my own, but it is definitely worth trying. Definitely great for healing your body, helping your body feel better. Am I gonna bring meat back? Of course. 
so I'm gonna bring meat back. But for right now, um, I am at seven days of um, plant-based or vegan. And so I am going to try to keep it going um, a few more days. I don't have a plan on when I'm gonna stop. But as of right now, I am losing weight. I am chilling at um, 164 uh, pounds and I am five foot four age 39 38 about to be 39 in a few months so i would advise trying this meal plan to anyone out there definitely consult a nutritionist or a primary care physician for additional testing of your blood sugars and making sure you're healthy enough for this meal plan. If you have any questions or wanna talk about this meal plan, link them in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day.